Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how do you effectively waste time in Power BI? Yes, you heard it right, wasting time in Power BI. There is a feature in Power BI, which is conditional formatting. And using conditional formatting as a gradient color, you can create like a heat map in Power BI. Very, very simple. You can access a heat map with just a click of a button uh, and you can generate a heat map. Now I tried to reverse engineer the heat map and tried to use DAX to be able to create heat maps with color gradients in Power BI. Of course, that was not necessary, but I still tried to do it. In case you're interested in this journey along with me, follow along and let's just waste time together. All right, now that you've decided to waste a bit of your time with me, uh, I'm gonna make this quick and not really explain you every single detail that I have done, but take you through broad parts of logic and show you the logic that I have created and how this entire thing is working using DAX, not using the standard conditional formatting. Here is a simple pivot table in Power BI, which is where I have the months and I have the years and I have done conditional formatting on the total sales measure that is dragged into my pivot table. And the conditional formatting that I have done is not the standard conditional formatting, it's the color gradient conditional formatting. Let's just say that I select this particular visual, I have the total sales measure right here. I go over there, I say conditional formatting and I chose the background color. Once I do that, I chose a color scale right here, set the minimum value as color white, maximum value as color blue, clicked on okay. And that actually gave me a little heat map, which is where the highest sales was in deep shade of blue and the lowest sales was in the shade of white. Now this is pre-built into Power BI. Let's just try to reverse engineer this, try to build that using DAX and not Power BI. Please take a look at this heat map. You can see that obviously the heat map has colors. So using a, any particular DAX logic, I need to be able to create a color. How do I create that color? I'm gonna be using hex codes, which are accepted by DAX, so that I can apply colors to the values of the total sales or any measure. That's one. So create hex codes using tags. That's problem number one. Problem number two, which is the larger part of the problem is that, how do I apply a gradient when the sales decreases? So you can see that the darkest shade of the sales value gets the darkest shade of the color, which is blue, deep blue. And eventually the sales, as the sales drop or the sales has become lesser, you can see that the whiter shade kicks in and this becomes light blue. Eventually this becomes absolutely white because that's where the smallest shade is. So I need to also find a way or like a technique to be able to grade that color or apply a gradient on that color so that the color actually diffuses and turns eventually white on the last value of sales. All right, I started my journey by solving the first problem, which is to understand that if I'm actually given a particular color, which is let's say the RGB format, red, green, and blue format, let's say it's a shade of blue. And if I wanna might maybe find what's the hex code for that, how do I create the hex code for that? So I went over to this particular blog post and this blog post actually describes that if you have the RGB format color, what is a little math and logic that you can do to convert that RGB color into a hex code automatically? So it actually describes the first value here, the second value here, and the third value here. The combining these three values, you're gonna get a six digit hex code, simple math, nothing very complicated. And you can just take a look at this and also refer to the hexadecimal table, which is what they're referring to convert the color from the RGB format to the hex code format. All right, I'm in the Excel file and that's where I have created a bit of legwork to help you understand that how will I apply gradients to every single color that actually appears in my pivot table. Please uh, put your attention to this particular pivot table, which is where I have the month here and I have the value. This is a much smaller pivot table as compared to what we saw in Excel, but we'll just try to do some work around here. So you can see that in this pivot table, the largest value is for the month of Feb and the Feb month should get the deepest shade of blue. And if you take a look at June, it should actually get the second deepest shade of blue. And eventually at the month of March, uh, it should actually turn white because that's the lowest value that we have here. Now the question is, how am I going to apply the gradient at every change of the sales value and eventually turn all of them into white? The first thing to understand is that I need to know that how many gradients do I need to change or how many times will the color change before it absolutely becomes white? So here the color is going to be, let's say blue, and uh, it will take five or six turns, let's say six turns to become white. Why six? Because there are six numbers. At every number, the color is going to change and eventually become white. So the count of all of these numbers is very important to me. That actually tells me one metric, which is I need to change the color six times from blue to make it absolutely white. Now, once we have got that number, let's just go build a few more logic inside of our Excel. 
So let's just say that my starting color is a blue and the RGB format of blue or the way the blue has been generated through RGB is nothing but 0, 112 and 92 of blue and that's the RGB that I apply to get this shade of blue. And this shade of blue has to become white in how many counts? In six counts. And the color code of white is nothing but 255, 255 and 255. Now what do I do? I will kind of gradiate the color by applying a simple financial mathematics. So what do I do? I say that, hey, if the zero, which consider that to be one, which is a very minuscule value, let's just say that if one uh, has to become 255 in six moves, then what is going to be the growth at every single move, which is also a lot of times we say that if this investment value has to become that investment value in X number of years, what's the growth per year? Very, very simple, nothing to complicate it here. So I'm saying that if let's say 112 has to become, let's say 255, which is one of the components of white, uh, 112 has to shift to 255 in six instances, then what's the growth at every single instance. And that's the simple math that I have done. So if one has to become 255, at every single change of the color, you would need to move the red color by 152%, 15% and 5% for blue, right? Once I get that, now I generate the colors six times. So at the first move, the color is going to be RGB. So two of red, 128 of green and 201 of blue. And eventually all of this will actually translate to in six moves, this will actually become 255, 255 and 255, which is nothing but the white color. Now, how do I take these, the formats of RGB that I have generated for each and every move and apply it to my pivot table? In the pivot table, I'm actually going to find the rank. So take a look, uh, 125 gets rank number one and 102 gets rank number two, so on and so forth. Now, because this has also got six ranks and the number of moves are also six moves, I can actually do like a look up here and go find the RGB combination of this particular rank. So at rank number one, the RGB combination is two, 128 and 201. How did I get that? That is nothing but right here. Let's just say at rank number four, the RGB combination is 40, 193 and 231. I go take a look at that and just feed that VLOOKUP value right here. Now that we have the RGB that is going to be applied on every single number, it's still an RGB and we need to convert that into a hex unless Power BI will not be able to read it in DAX. So I then plug in my logic number one that how do I take the RGB value, go see that in the lookup table, which is the hexadecimal table that I copied it from my blog and went ahead to search for what is going to be the right hex code for this particular RGB value, right? Which is nothing but the straightforward logic. You can take a look at that. The logic of converting the RGB into hex code, you can take a look at that. Or you can even just download this particular Excel file and that's where I have actually defined the RGB logic in these particular letter numbers right here. Now let's just jump over to Power BI and take a look at what DAX did I write and is it able to do the needful or not? All right, I'm in Power BI and that's where I have created a single measure to pack all of the logic that I described to you in Excel to generate that hex code, which is going to apply the gradient color at every single shift of the sales value. So take a look at that measure. It's a color gradient. It's certainly a long measure, but it's not very complicated. I have just packed the entire logic of the, the Excel working right here in this particular measure. If you scroll down right towards the end of the measure, you will find that eventually when everything finishes, I am combining my hash sign and the hex for R, hex for G and hex for B and creating the hex code that is going to apply the color at every single time the sales value changes. Let's just go and apply this if this is going to work or not. So I'm just going to click on my pivot table, go ahead and apply that to my background color. I'm not going to go ahead with the color scale, which is by default heat map. I'm going to apply my own field value, which is nothing but the color that I have created, which is the color gradient. I'm going to apply that. That means I will supply you the color. What hex code do you have to apply at every change of the sales value? That's what it means. I'm going to say OK, and it does uh, apply the color correctly. You can see that it uh, has the largest value as the deepest shade of blue and eventually it kind of turns white, turns white and the smallest sales value is 50,000 and becomes white. Now it's obviously not as polished as what Power BI does it. Take a look at what Power BI does it on its own. You can see that the deepest shade of blue is blue and every single change of the sales value makes the color lighter with the infusion of the white color and it becomes uh, white here. 
but in my scenario this the color changes and it becomes some other tone of blue and then eventually it turns out to be white and the fully white in the end but yeah that's what it is all right that was a fun little experiment with dax let me know what you think about it if you have any questions i'll be glad to reply and in the end a quick shout about my dax and my power query courses which is where i talk about a lot of meaningful examples and case studies if you're starting out with power bi and you need help with building up your fundamentals first either with dax or with power query and then proceed on to solving more challenging more real time business problems i'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses it's going to be highly beneficial thanks so much for spending time with me and i will catch you guys in the next one cheers bye